Hello everyone. In this video, we will be learning about some common errors that you can make while tackling the questions on reading comprehension. Okay, we have divided the common errors in four parts. One is answer choices that are too general or too specific or answer choices could be out of scope or they could be distorted or opposite. So you need to take care that you don't fall into one of these traps while answering questions. First, we'll take the case of the answers being too general. Okay, in a previous video, I told you about the technique of topic, scope and purpose. This was to identify the main idea of a question. Now, this error, too general, is made mostly in the questions where you have to identify the main idea. Now, in this what will happen is, sometimes in the passage, um, in the answer choices, along with the purpose, the scope of the passage will also be given. So, if you choose that answer to be correct, then you are going in for a choice which is too general. Like for instance, in the malnutrition example that I gave you in the previous video, the purpose of the passage, as I told you, was to spread awareness, right? But if instead of that, you mark the answer choice as the causes of malnutrition, then that choice is too general in nature. Similarly, too specific is also an error which is made in the similar kind of questions where you have to find the main idea or the purpose of the passage. Now again in the malnutrition question, if instead of spreading awareness, you were to write use of TV in spreading awareness about malnutrition. Now that is too specific because let us assume even, even if we assume that in the question in the passage, this part is given that TV should be used to spread awareness, but that is too specific for it to be encompassing the entire main idea of the passage. The main idea apart from TV you could also use let us say radio, let us say that is mentioned in the passage or um, celebrities to endorse the cause. So basically the point is that your main idea should encompass sort of all these options instead of you focusing on a particular choice. So that is what I mean by too general or too specific. Okay. Now we come on to the other two errors that is out of scope and distortion slash opposite. Now let us say, let us take an example. The statement given in the passage is on Diwali, people light lamps, distribute sweets and pray. Let us say in your answer, uh, the statement given is the most important activity people do on Diwali is lighting lamps. The most important activity on Diwali is lighting lamps. Now as you can see this is an out of scope answer because in out because it is nowhere mentioned that lighting lamps is the most important activity. Now what might happen is because you have conventional knowledge and wisdom about Diwali you you might just you know, put that into this question and you might say that yes, the most important activity on Diwali is lighting lamps and you will see that okay, lighting lamps is mentioned, so you might go for that. So this is an error you re really need to be careful about. So along with out of scope, another thing that you need to be careful is that an answer choice that is irrelevant. So in this case, let us say the answer statement given is by lighting lamps, people try to please Goddess Lakshmi. So th this is irrelevant in the context of the passage because it is nowhere mentioned whether this is done to please Goddess Lakshmi or not and nothing about Goddess Lakshmi is mentioned so it is irrelevant to the passage. So this is these two errors. Now let us, so we've discussed too general, we've discussed too specific, we've discussed out of scope and irrelevant. Now let us go for distortion or opposite. Now let us say the statement given in the passage is that success is achieved through hard work, skill or luck or some combination of the three. Now if this is a statement and after that in the answer choices, um, let us say the answer choice is only through skill one can achieve success. 
so that is the so that is the statement that is given only through skill one can achieve success now as you can see this is a distortion of the original statement it nowhere says that it is only through skill it says skill or luck or hard work so they have distorted the statement and if you read it in a hurry you might be tempted to mark this as the right answer now we've done distortion the last error left is opposite again look at the statement success is achieved through hard work skill or luck or some combination of the three and let us say the statement that you listen to this carefully the statement in the answer choices is that people who are either hard working skillful or lucky are not likely to achieve success now again the problem with this is if you read it carefully you would obviously know that this is not correct but what happens with the mind is you tend to glean over words which you your mind doesn't seem or feel to be important so you will see same either hard working skillful lucky these words are the same and success is the same so you will not notice the word that it is it says not likely to achieve success so in that case this is a common common you know trick used by examiners to see whether you are actually paying attention to the answer choices or not so in this video i have tried to summarize some common errors which are made by students while answering the questions on reading comprehension